is going on? It's Jimmy, my name is and today I'm bringing you guys a tips and tricks video about how to play Fortnite and how to get better at Fortnite. Uh, the first tip I want to talk about is movement. Movement is really, really important. That is actually a lot of it goes into combat, it goes into like time managing and so on. Um, a tip I can give you is when you're actually walking away from the circle and you're trying to get towards the circle. Uh, when you look behind you, look for on your sides, jump. Th that way you won't lose any speed. Uh, when you turn around, it's a really good tip as I don't see a lot of people doing it. Um, therefore, you need a good sensitivity that you feel comfortable with. Because uh, say you're jumping and you're going to look behind you and you just spin three times and you're like disorientated, that will then lose you time. Uh, Fortnite is all about being effective and being the most efficient player as possible. Uh, another thing that goes into movement is the combat. You need to crouch, especially on longer ranges. Make sure to crouch and so on when you shoot. Really, really important uh, and so on. And the next thing we got is looting. Looting is really, really important in this game. It's how you get guns, it's how you get ammo. It is also how you get uh, materials. Uh, so try not wasting too much time on getting materials. You will get materials for killing players. Uh, this is just how I get materials. That is, I get like say 100 of each material and I'll be good on that. I kill a player and he has like 50 of each material. That way I can just keep going on materials and so on. Also make sure to grab uh, ammo crates, what I would do is just don't go for ammo crates specifically, but when you're looting a chest, always look if there's an ammo crate near that chest you can take. This way you won't lose any time and you'll be fast looting, because being fast is really, really important. It's like really fast when you're landing and tilted and you're landing with your teammates. Loot fast, you're going to help your teammates really, really quick. Um, another thing is combat. This is the most important thing about the game. You always need to be some way good in combat. You always need to kill one guy at least, uh, to kill the last player. That is really, really important. So the tip I can give is crouching. Again, crouching is really, really important. So if you see a guy who is standing still, you should crouch, wait for the cross, you zoom in so you get that uh, guaranteed one shot or guaranteed shot that is 110% accurate. Uh, in his head, you get like a 60 damage and then start spraying him. This is a really good way what you do with an AR, especially if you have a burst, because this can basically be a one shot and so on. Number four, we got friends. This is also a big, big importancy in the game is I should play with friends and other people. And uh, this will learn you how to communicate or learn how if you play squad and you see two people coming towards you at the same time, it is really good to practice that way. Uh, being able to kill multiple people at the same time. You don't do that often solo, but if you practice in squad and you're going solo and there's four people running around you, you have some advantage over a guy who only plays solo. Uh, number five is stay updated, always look for look for what weapons have been buffed and what weapons have been nerfed. Uh, what is new, you can also see this on YouTube, there's a lot of guys on YouTube and um, that's covering the newest update, like where is there a new spot on the map, is there something new in the game. Uh, even skins, if you're really accurate, if you really want to go and see skins, you want better skins and cooler skins, not better, but cooler skins and so on, it's also a way to stay updated when the next skin is coming out so you don't blow your money on skin that you don't really want. Number six, this is a really really important one, is to challenge yourself. Um, land, you know, high traffic area, land popular areas where there's going to be a lot of people. Challenge yourself, get used to being in combat and get used to using guns and so on. Really, really important. Challenge yourself is one of the key aspects of this game. Uh, challenge yourself building faster, killing more people, using other guns, uh, trying to kill people from farther ranges, uh, jumping, movement and so on. It's really, really important. So I would then suggest like landing retail, greasy or pleasant. Really good places to land. There's not too many people there, but there is always a decent amount of players there. If you really want to up and up notch, I would then go uh, Dusty Devot or Tilted or Risky Reels. Risky Reels are always like 10 people landing there uh, when the bus is near. Um, and the most important one, which is really, really crucial, is getting good with the pump shotgun. And uh, 9 of 30 times you will play against a guy who has a pump shotgun. It's all about getting the one tap headshot because that thing can do 218 damage to the head if you're close up enough. Uh, so getting accurate with the headshot, with the uh, being able to get a one shot headshot with the pump is really really efficient. This way you can kill a guy without him even taking damage off you and losing health and shield is really really bad because sometimes it will be really hard to find shields again and having the most shields and health with endgame comes is really really important. Uh, so try to lose the less, like try to lose less health as possible is really really important so that's why you gotta get good with the shotgun. Um, you know, and when you use it double round, you just build two rounds. You don't need to build like insane skies, uh, insane sky, <laughs> skyscraper to do it. Uh, just double round, so you can just get a little bit of high ground and jump and get a headshot. That is the way to do it. This will take a lot of practice, but basically, trust me. Uh, once you got this down and you're really accurate with your pump shotgun, you can basically kill everybody. Nobody will have a chance. I would then recommend having a pump shotgun or a double pump, or just having one pump shotgun and a tack. So you shoot it once with your pump you take your attack out and you can easily deal two shots with attack it's a really really good way to actually just deal a lot of damage with taking less damage from the enemy player also moving around and so on 
So I hope you guys find this helpful. This is how I play. This is what I focus on when I play the game. This is how I practice and how I got my 1k wins basically. Uh, so it's really, really important that you try and challenge yourself, as I said. Uh, all these aspects are challenging. Uh, combat, looting, friends and so on. It's really challenging to just get good at every single aspect. But you should try to challenge yourself and try to set up challenges for yourself. Uh, this really get better. So I hope you guys found this helpful. And if you did, please do leave a like and subscribe as it really helps me out. We're really closing up the 300 subscribers. If you can reach that, that'd be awesome. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye. Take care.